You cannot overcome something which does not exist. Where is happening? Because of excessive imagination, things that have not happened, you're creating. What may happen in your mind happens in thousand different formats and most probably it never happens. The things that you feared, take hundred things that you have feared, probably ninety-nine of them never happened, isn't it? Your fear is always about that which does not exist. You cannot fight or you cannot overcome that which does not exist. We can overcome something that exists. You cannot overcome that which does not exist. You just have to give up that effort. Fear means you're producing horror movies in your mind produce something else, produce a comedy, a love story, suspense, thriller. Try and see today, just sit down, produce a love story, a suspense thriller, a comedy, five, five minutes mo movies you make in your mind, really. Start using your mind differently, it's just gotten into your pattern just got into a pattern of just creating horror movies all the time, create something else. Fear is simply because you're not living with life, you're living in your mind. Your fear is always about what's going to happen next. That means your fear is always about that which does not exist. If your fear is about the non-existent, your fear is hundred percent imaginary. If you're suffering the non-existential, we call that insanity. So, people may be in just socially accepted levels of insanity, but if you're afraid or if you're suffering anything which does not exist, it amounts to insanity, isn't it? People are always suffering either what happened yesterday or what may happen tomorrow. So your suffering is always about that which does not exist, simply because you're not rooted in reality, you're always rooted in your mind. Mind is… one part of it is memory, another part of it is imagination. Both of them are in one way imagination, because both of them don't exist right now. You're lost in your imagination, that's the basis of your fear. This is an unfortunate condition that a whole lot of human beings are in, in their experience, in their personal experience, life is like me versus the universe. Being in competition with the universe is a stupid thing to do. That's not a competition you must get into. I'm asking you, do you have any proof? Do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and messing it up? Do you have any proof? You're already in heaven, making a mess out of it, yes? Simply because you are not even learning how to handle your basic faculties of thought and emotion. When will you learn how to handle my thought, how to handle my emotion, how to handle my body, how to handle my chemistry? When are you going to figure this? At the end of your life?